Hi everybody, I'd like to show you today how you can take an image and then add like a label underneath the image. This was a question that was sent to me by somebody and I'll be honest, I had to figure this out. So here's how we do it. I'm gonna come in here and edit this post and I'm actually, this is what we're trying to get to or trying to accomplish, but I wanna start by coming in here and just having a nice clean look. So I'm gonna get rid of this table. And this is going to involve using a table. So the first thing I want to do is kind of figure out where my image is going to go. So I'm going to, I want it to lay over here on the right hand side of the page and I'm going to wrap the text around the left hand side. So I'm going to come in here, I'm going to put my cursor in the very top left hand corner and then I'm going to create a table. So I'm going to come over here and what this allows me to do is decide how big I want the table to be and essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a two, what is this, column table two cells, okay? The top cell is gonna hold the image and the bottom cell is gonna hold our caption. So now that I've clicked that, it's gonna bring me over here and this is, this is the actual table, okay? And I can see I can put my cursor in the top portion, the top cell, or I can put my cursor in the bottom cell. So let's start in the top cell and get our image actually added into the table. So in order to do that, we'll get our cursor in the top cell and you can see my cursor in there blinking. I'm gonna come over here and hit insert or edit an image. I'm gonna upload my image just like I would with any other image. And I'm gonna use this three-story townhome image right here. And then I'm gonna come in here and set my dimensions on my image. So I know I want it to be about 300 pixels wide. And then I am not going to use any of the vertical or horizontal space here. Okay, normally if I was just adding an image and wrapping text around the side, I'd want to do this vertical and horizontal space to create that good white space between the image and the text. But we're going to have to do that a little bit different this time. So I'm going to leave that blank. So essentially, I'm just going to upload the image and I'm going to get the 300. That's kind of what I generally use for a width for my images. And I can adjust that once I get it in there. Boom. So now I've got my image in here. And then we see this little area at the bottom where we can add text. And this is our second cell. But first, let's get our whole table off to the right with the text wrapped around the left. So in order to do that, what I need to do is, and this is kind of tricky, I need to click on, boom, I need to click here until everything kind of lights up, including the image inside, and then I'll see these little squares around the edge. I'm using Chrome, so you might see something slightly different in Internet Explorer or Firefox, but this is what it looks like in Chrome. And this will let me know I'm controlling the entire table. And one of the reasons, or one of the ways I can know that is if I come up here, if table properties is an available option as opposed to being grayed out, like if I was here without the table lit up, or, or not touching the table maybe it is, yeah, so table properties is not, you know, it's grayed out. But once I get that whole table lit up, table properties becomes something I can do, but I'm not gonna use that yet, okay? Let's light the table up. And then I'm going to come over here and say align right. Oh, see, that didn't even work. So that's real tricky. You got to get the whole thing lit up, images and the table. And then I can say align right. And that's going to now throw my image off to the right. I've got a chance down here now to... to, to write my caption. You know, maybe I would say something like Plaza del Sol condos in Seattle, something like that, okay? Now I might wanna come in here and center this up, so I'm just gonna click on the words inside of that cell, then I can come up here and align that to the center. Ooh, and see, that's messing with that a little bit, so I might need to come over here and, geez, that's no good, I need to align that back to the left. Okay, so there's some stuff that could happen in here, right? You saw how that happened, but you can fix it. So the next thing that I'd want to do then is I don't like my words running right up next to my image. So there's a few ways that I could deal with this. One would be to come in here to the cell for the image, light this thing up. Boom. Let's just get in here and do table properties. And I could come in here and put some cell padding. And if I was to do like 30 pixels of cell padding, that's going to pad it but the problem is it pads it on the top the bottom and it also does it down here on this cell so it makes it kind of unruly so I'm going to come back that's not quite what I wanted let me come back and readjust my table properties 
So after doing some kind of trial and error with this, the best way that I found to create this spacing or this margin around the, the actual table is to come in here to the, the source code, okay? And right in here in the table style, I wanna tell this table to have a margin of about 30 pixels around it. So what I'm gonna do is right in here, I'm just gonna say margin colon 30 px for pixels and then I'm gonna hit the semicolon to separate my margin command and my float command and let me move this out of the way here see there's, these words run right up next to the image here but once I add that little command into the source code boom that's gonna float the words off away from the table kinda of set the table off from everything else and now I could come down here post my blog entry and I have an image with a caption underneath it set off from the rest of my content. A few, a couple of other things that I noticed in here as I was doing this is I could add a border around this table if I wanted to, but again, it's going to add the border around the entire table. So I could come down here to table properties and say, Hey, look, I want to put a, you know, a four pixel border or something around this and hit OK. It doesn't actually show it there, but when we get down here and publish the post, we will see the border in there around the image. So there you go. That's how you could add an image in and add a field down here below to create a caption for that image.